a, a fairly spiteful question time today. The opposition buoyed by their uh, victory last night where, as you mentioned, they managed to sneak an amendment through that the government uh, didn't want, uh, was keen to try and draw out the government's pain as much as possible and in particular the pain of Kelly O'Dwyer, the unfortunate cabinet minister who was responsible for the mistake. Uh, time and time again they drew attention back to the bungle and said that it showed the government was basically incapable of running the House and therefore, they said, incapable also of running the country. The Prime Minister's response, well, Catherine, was to try to take the high road, to accuse Labor of taking pleasure in small victories. Let's have a listen to what some of the main combatants had to say in question time earlier this afternoon. Was that because the Minister agrees the government has failed to close tax loopholes or is it because the Minister is so incompetent that she pays no attention when revenue decisions are being made? It is very embarrassing, but, but let me say what is even more embarrassing is the depth that the Labor Party has sunk to, the adolescent games. What exactly does a Minister have to do to get the sack in your government and is the fact that you can't move on any of these people, the fact that they're still here, because your leadership is so unstable. What does the Leader of the Opposition have to savour? Some games in the House, a pious amendment, a little, his little win. Well, we won't begrudge him, we won't begrudge him uh, his uh, small pleasures, but we will get on with the job of governing for all Australians. Stephen, we've